In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. By the Sacred Heart of Jesus, and the Immaculate Heart of Mary, one with Louisa, the little daughter of the Divine Will, I enter into the Holy Divine Will. Come, Divine Will, come beat in my every heartbeat, come breathe in my every breath, come pray, adore, and reign in me. In the name of everyone and everything, past, present, and future, in, with, through, and for Jesus, Mary, and Louisa, in, with, and for all, that all may be for the glory of God and the good of all souls giving to God as if all lived in the most holy divine will. United with creation, redemption, and sanctification, praying as one in that one eternal act. For the kingdom to come, Reign on earth, fiat. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Lady Queen of Saints, Our Lady of America, our Lady Mother and Queen of the Holy Divine Will, St. Joseph, St. John Vianney, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now, just so that you know, we packed the first talk with everything that's Catholic. So when somebody says, well, this isn't Catholic, go back to the first tape, okay, the first DVD, all right? Uh, because this is all based on Catholicism, okay? And now what God wants is us to recognize his little newborn, Louisa. So we'll continue. This actor of my divine will takes the office of insuperable craftsman so as to transform God in Louisa and Louisa in God. Okay, so this is what's essential about understanding the divine will. The transformation. Okay, now what Jesus tells Louisa is the greatest gift that he gave to mankind in the Old Testament was transfiguration. Why? Because there's Jesus, Moses, and Elijah. Then he says the greatest gift that he gave to the New Testament is transubstantiation, the Holy Eucharist. And now he says, I'm giving the ultimate gift of transmutation in, in this new era. So what happens is, transfiguration, you have Jesus you know, showing himself on Mount Tabor, and he's radiating in divine light, whiter than any white, uh, any bleacher could make his clothes. They was just radiating in divine light. So the inside of Jesus stayed the same, but the outside was changed. Now, trans, uh, uh, the next part is uh, tr uh, transubstantiation. The bread and wine look like bread and wine even though it is now the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ. So the inside, if you want to say, is changed to into the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Christ. Now, Jesus says, transmutation is going to take place. That means the inside and the outside are changed. That's what's going to happen to us. Uh, what God wants is the inside and the outside. That's why... Jesus tells Louisa that we, the Adam had the preternatural gifts and that God is going to give back to mankind the preternatural gifts. That's why he says, I want you to have abundant life. 
not just a saintly, good, and holy life, but an abundant life. How glorious this is that our Lord is offering this to us. So, if you want to read it again, the actor of my divine will takes the office of insuperable craftsman so that uh, so as to transform God in the souls linked to Louisa and the souls linked to Louisa in God. This is, this is how we're supposed to live. Not just a good and holy and saintly life, but a divine life. So that's why our, our, our God is giving this to us and he's asking us, do you want this? And if we're saying, with my whole heart and soul I want this, then God says, prove it to me. And what does that mean? That means to read, to study, and to put this into practice. To understand that this gift, this doctrine of the divine will, uh, is the, it is the gift of gifts. It is the prodigy of prodigies. When my most holy divine will has reached this, it is the greatest act that a soul can do. That is, to form of, to form of God and Louisa one single life, rendering God and Louisa inseparable from each other. Or, to read it again, when my holy divine will has reached this, it is the greatest act that a soul can do so as to form of God and the soul's link to Louisa one single life, rendering them inseparable from each other. It rests in its work, and therefore the divine will feels such happiness because the divine will has conquered Louisa and the soul's linked to Louisa. It has formed its labor in Louisa and the soul's linked to Louisa. The divine will has completed its most holy divine will in Louisa and the soul's linked to Louisa. Then it seems that it says, in the emphasis of its divine love, I have done everything. Nothing else, for, for, nothing else remains for me, God, other than to possess Louisa and the souls linked to Louisa and to love Louisa and the souls linked to Louisa. God has done everything. Why? It's now to possess the gift that Adam lost. To possess the gift that Jesus and Mary possess. How? through Louisa, the newborn, the firstborn of the divine will. Uh, so what God is going to do, and like I said before, he's going to wean us from the saintly, the good and the holy. Why? Because he wants to see within us a desire for the divine. And that doesn't mean anybody's doing the divine at this point. We, he says, who wants it? So, again, our whole life is wanting to be a saint, striving for perfection. And now what God is asking us is, do you want now to share in divinity? How glorious this is that our God is offering this to us. I, Louisa, remained worried in hearing this. <laughs> and, and that's why... We know uh, that this is true because she didn't go, good, I'm going to live in it now. She goes, I was worried in hearing this. And my love of Jesus added, my daughter Louisa, why do you doubt? Does the sun not also do this office as the sun darts the flower with its light? And so it gives to it the substance the, of the color of the fragrance. And as the sun darts the fruit, so it infuses in it the sweetness and the flavor as it darts the plants, so the sun communicates to each one of the plants the divine sub the substance, the effects that are needed. If the sun does this, much more so does my holy divine will that can do everything and knows how to do everything. And as the sun goes finding the seed in order to give it what it possesses, so my most holy divine will goes finding the dispositions of the souls linked with Louisa. So God is looking at you. What, what is your disposition? Is it to say fiat? Is it to strive for perfection? Is it to strive for the divine will? The souls who want to live of my most holy divine will so that the divine will can immediately dart Louisa and the souls linked to Louisa and communicate the divine substance and the divine nobility and to form and to make uh, grow its divine life in the souls linked to Louisa. Uh, uh, again, we look at the saints 
and they lived holy, saintly, and good lives. Now Jesus wants more. He wants us to begin to possess a divine life. December 15th, 1935. How true love wants to make itself known, spread itself out and run and fly in search of Louisa, the one who the divine will loves, because the divine will feels the need of being loved in return. See, Louisa is the only one who can give to God what God wants divinely. That's why she's the firstborn. That's why she's the newborn. The divine power of creating the act that Louisa, uh, the one who receives uh, when Louisa goes around in creation, uh, the round of creation. My poor mind is always transported into the sea of the divine will. That's why God wants us to be linked to Louisa. She's always in the divine will and makes present to me and holds as an act everything that the divine will does for the love of souls. And the divine will longs that they, the souls recognize what the divine will has done. Okay, that's what God is. He's asking us to recognize this and how much the divine will has loved us. And the divine will waits for us in its act in order to tell us, let us do this together. Do not make me work alone so that what I, God, do, you do. That's in God's likeness. See, when somebody says you look like your parents, you walk like your parents, you talk like your parents, you, you laugh like your parents, you dance like your parents, you're doing what your parents have done. You're in, God, you're in their likeness. Let us do it together. Do not make me, God, work alone so that what I, God, do, you do, so that we can say with equal love we have loved each other, not with a human love that we give back to God, but with a divine love. Come, divine will, come breathe in my breathing. That's an I love you entering into your breath. It's God breathing in your breathing. And then you give out your breath, I love you. God says, I love you. We say to God, I love you. With equal love, we have loved each other. The blood goes into your heart. God says, I love you. And the blood goes out of our heart. And we say, I love you. It's, it's, it's the waves against the shore. The waves come in. The waves go out. It's the sun rising. It's the sun setting. It's the leaves that when the, when the wind blows, the leaves flutter. It's an I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. This is how This is heaven. On earth. As we begin to live this I love you, there's the worry, the fear, the anxiety, the complaints, the negativity leaves. That's why when the chastisements come, Jesus says, the souls living in the divine will, the chastisements will have little or no effect upon the those souls living in the divine will. Why? Everything is fiat. Now all of us are being affected. Uh, you know, spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally. All of us are suffering physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. The souls living in the divine will, it's fiat. It's water off a duck's back. You want me to suffer? Fiat. Spiritually? Fiat. Physically? Fiat. Mentally? Fiat. Emotionally? Fiat. Financially? Fiat. Whatever you want, God, is what I want. There's no worry, there's no fear, there's no anxiety, there's no complaints, there's no negativity. How beautiful it is to be able to say in turn, you have loved me and I have loved you. Everything becomes an I love you. Everything begins to be heaven on earth. And when everything starts falling apart, and it's going to, we're seeing it begin already, people are going to be pulling their hair out, jumping off of buildings, Suicide is going to be the greatest thing to do. Why? Our Lady says that. If you don't have Jesus in me, Our Lady said, all you have is suicide. I mean, if, you're, if, you're financial, uh, if your finances go out the window, people go out the window. Why? Because their, their finances are their God. If your health, your, 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 your wealth, your family... Your friends, your neighbors, if, if they start falling apart and you start falling apart, God says, what do you want? Do you want worry, fear, anxiety, complaints, negativity? Do you want a stroke, a heart attack, an ulcer? What do you want? Or, or, or do we say fiat? Let it be done as you say. 
That's what heaven is. How beautiful it is to be able to say in turn, you have loved me and I have loved you. It is the compensation of the greatest works and of the most sorrowful sacrifices. So my mind went around in the creation. Again, the round of creation is, is how we're supposed to begin to pray. The round of creation is how we're supposed to begin to pray. Again, we have the prayers of the saints. I mean, the great prayers of the saints. But Jesus says, I want you to now to pray the way I prayed. I want you now to pray the way my mother prayed. That's the round of creation, round of redemption. Oh, what is it? It's all I love yous. It's not, please, 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 please. It's I love you. I adore you. I praise you. I worship you. I glorify you. I love you. That's what that's what the divine will is. That's why when everything starts falling apart, Jesus says the souls that are going to survive will be living in the divine will. I love you. That, that's, that's the prayer that Jesus wants us to pray. Not, not just from my heart, but from God's heart beating in my heart. A divine I love you. I love you the way you love me. This is what God is looking for. So again, what is this gift? This gift is for our times. And like I said, it doesn't matter if the monasteries are empty or the convents are empty or the churches are empty. It doesn't matter. What matters is where is our mind, our heart, our soul, our intellect, our memory, our will? Where is it? Is it one with God in his holy divine will? And if it is, everything is fine. Everything is heaven. So my mind went, about, went around in the creation, in the act of when the omnipotent fiat pronounced itself, created and extended the azure sky, my eternal love, in order to have me together with the divine will in that act of creation. And my sweet Jesus made feast that the divine will had its company finally with Louisa, the newborn, the firstborn. Finally. And stopping me, Jesus told me, my good daughter Louisa, to love and to not make oneself known is against the nature of true love. Because true love as by itself spreads itself out and runs. It flies in searches of Louisa, the one to whom the divine will loves. And then the divine will stops and when it finds Louisa, the divine will encloses Louisa in itself. The divine will hides Louisa in its love. And transforming Louisa into its own divine flames, the divine will wants to find its own love in Louisa. It, its own works done by Louisa, the one uh, who, to whom the divine will loves uh, for the love of the divine will. For the love of Louisa. Okay, so here, uh, again, if we're linked to Louisa, uh, we can put our name in there if we're linked to Louisa. The, this gift Jesus is offering to us, Jesus continues. And since Louisa, the, the creature, the soul, can never do what we try and God do for Louisa, our divine love, in order to have its intent, calls Louisa to itself, Okay, see, we can't do what God does. We're human. But he says, even we can never do what God does. Our divine love, in order to have its intent, calls Louisa to itself, hides Louisa in its own divine love, and lets Louisa operate together with our creating act and conserving act so that in reality, Louisa can say, I, Louisa, have loved you, triune God, what you, Triune God, have done for me, I, Louisa, have done for you. So again, Jesus says, you're a creature. You can't do what I do. But because of the divine love of God, I will allow you to do this as if you did it. So when we breathe, come divine will, come breathe in my breathing, God's doing that. And we can say, I'm God's breathing in my breathing 
It's in a divine I love you to me, and I can give that divine I love you which God has given to me back to you divinely, not humanly. <clears throat> and in reality, we try and God feel re-loved, divinely re-loved by Louisa and the souls linked to Louisa with our divine love, with our own divine works. So again, that's why our God is weaning us <clears throat> uh, from the saintly to the divine. Uh, again, if you want to help your parish, give your priest uh, the, the hours of the passion. Give your priest the Virgin Mary and the King to the divine will. Give your priest the Father Bucci's book. Give your priest the DVD, Dawn of a Mystery. And wait. Then you got to wait. you got to pray for him, but you got to wait because it's a seed that has to be planted. I heard about the Divine Will in 1976. I started reading the Divine Will in 1986. In 1996, we got the writings out of the Vatican. In 2006, they started reading in the Vatican Luisa's writings. Okay? It takes time. But what's going to happen is if there's going to, it's going to happen very, very quickly. Our Lady's already told us this. It's like a domino effect. Once the first domino goes, it's going to go brrrp, and it's going to be done. It's going to, as Jesus said, it's coming. And it's going to happen very quickly. You, you light a fuse. That's what's happened. What's going to happen when the fuse comes to the end? What's at the end of a fuse? It's in a divine explosion that's coming. The devil is going to be blasted out of here. Heaven's coming to earth. The doors of the kingdom are going to be opened by the Holy Father. We have to understand. Let's just look at in 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 1997, Our Lady said to Father Gobi, everything's complete. Uh, John Paul II said in 1998, Veni Creator Spiritus, so the year of, a, of a century of praying to the Holy Spirit. The century was given to us by uh, Pope Leo XIII, consecrated to the Holy Spirit. A century of praying to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Father says, get ready for the third millennium. We're 10 years over time. We're, we're living in the third fiat. Uh, this, it's already begun. Luis is back in the Vatican, and they're studying this. Uh, again, this is why everything's falling apart. The devil knows he's got to destroy as much as he can because his no, he knows his time is over. How? Because of Luisa. Because of Luisa. Uh, we have to get to know Luisa. So he, Jesus says, you must know. That is, Louisa elevates herself with her will into our most holy divine will, into the things created by us, triune God. Our supreme being renews over Louisa the creating act. And oh, the marvels that we, triune God, do of divine graces, of divine sanctity, of divine sky, of divine suns in Louisa's soul. Again, this was never said about a saint. And I love the saints. This was never said about a saint. That's why the Vatican is, is so excited about what they're reading. And also, they're a little trembling. I mean, what they have known to this point is human sanctity. And now Jesus is saying... Uh, we're talking about the marvels of divine will, divine graces, divine sanctity, divine sky found in Louisa, divine suns found in Louisa's soul. Our divine act delights to be repeated. And as Louisa goes around in each created thing, our divine love wants to make itself known to us. The divine will wants to make Louisa touch with her hand how much the divine will loves Louisa. And the divine will repeats over Louisa our creating act 
that is never subject to ceasing in a way that Louisa feels all the ardor of our divine love, all the power of our divine works, and is taken by amazement. And Louisa loves us, triune God, with our creative strength. And then we, triune God, have infused in Louisa, that we have fused, infused in Louisa. Holy cow. Now, I've read John of the Cross, Priest of Avila Catherine of Siena, Siena, great saints, great mystics. And they're always saying, please, 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 please. What God is doing, Louisa, is here. The prayer of all the saints is now being fulfilled in Louisa. Again, I can't wait until the Vatican pronounces Louisa. And uh, that's what that's what uh, the Archbishop said. Please pray for the beatification of Louisa. Pray that it happens, because once it happens, the volumes go to everybody. For some strange reason, we have the volumes. I don't understand that. In in Corrado, they don't have the volumes. We have the volumes. How in the heck did that happen? You know, it's it's by the grace of God. And he's he's asking us, he's pleading with us, please. You know, this is this is the the Archbishop. Pray for the Vatican to say yes to Louisa. The sooner this happens, the sooner the kingdom's coming. Jesus says, Oh, how our divine contentment in seeing ourselves, the triune God known and loved by Louisa and the souls linked to Louisa. The one whom we, triune God, love so much. Now think about that. Why isn't this room filled? Because this is a secret. It's like, why isn't the chapel filled right now? Jesus is there. Because it's a secret. Why isn't everybody wearing the scapular and praying the rosary? Because it is a secret. Why isn't everybody faithful and obedient to the vicar of Christ on earth? Because it is a secret. It's hidden. What what God loves, he keeps close to himself. Think about it. Jesus is only speaking to the world for three years. The, The 30 years he was hidden with his mother. A secret. The word of God, hidden with Mary, a secret. And now we have Louisa, hidden from all the priests, from all the bishops, from all the sisters. It's a secret. And and again, uh, what does Jesus say? Our contentment. Our divine contentment in seeing the triune God known and loved by Louisa and the souls linked to Louisa, the souls whom we love so much. See, God is expecting great things from us. He's expecting great things from us. And, and uh, uh, we, we, we have an awesome responsibility before God. And what is that? That's to love God with Louisa. To adore God with Louisa, to praise God with Louisa. Again, to to possess the true life of Jesus and Mary through Louisa. This is why we try and God created so many things, because we try and God await Louisa and the souls linked to Louisa in order to make ourselves known how much we try and God love Louisa and the souls linked to Louisa. And so, as to give to Louisa and the souls linked to Louisa in every created thing the potentiality of our divine love in order to make us, triune God, divinely loved again, as Adam did before the fall, as Jesus and Mary did 2,000 years ago. He, he, He wants to be divinely loved. That's why he created us. There were no other gods around to divinely love him. And he wants to be divinely loved. He wants to share his divine love with us. Love when the divine will is not known is rendered unhappy. And when the divine will is not re-loved by Louisa and the souls linked to Louisa, whom it loves, the divine will feels itself lose life, hindered, and steps broken. And it is the most beautiful work placed in oblivion. 
On the other hand, when the divine will is known and loved, the divine will life multiplies. As Catholics, we know this. When we receive Jesus the Holy Eucharist, we don't, and there's a hundred people there, we don't receive one hundredth part of Jesus. We receive the totality of Jesus in that host. God doesn't divide himself up. He wants to multiply himself. And that's what he wants. He wants to give with us, as he says, a divine life multiplied. There is our creative act over Louisa in order to be loved as we love Louisa and the souls linked to Louisa. Our steps are free. Rather, they fly in order to take us, trying God, to Louisa and the souls linked to Louisa, our beloved souls. To clasp Louisa and the souls linked to Louisa to our divine bosom so as to love Louisa and the souls linked to Louisa, to make ourselves be again divinely loved, again, as Adam did before the fall and as Jesus and Mary did when they were here 2,000 years ago, on earth, on earth. Our divine love feels the divine happiness of the divine love that Louisa and the souls linked to Louisa bring back to us, triune God. Uh, again, how spectacular this is. So what God is doing is he's trying to wean us from our prayers, our, our saintly prayers. And I have a number of people who come to me with their little book and they go, here's the prayers of St. Teresa, here's the prayers of St. Francis, here's the prayers of St. Ignatius, here's the prayers. I love these prayers. Here's the prayers of, and that's great. It's holy, it's saintly. But what we're going to pray is the prayers of Louisa. And that's, that's a book that's being uh, printed right now. It's all the prayers of Louisa in volume 1 through volume 36. It's 400 pages. Now, as you begin to pray this, you're going to be astonished. Why? Because it's not a saintly prayer, a good prayer, a holy prayer. It's the prayers of Louisa, who Jesus says, Louisa brings this. Our divine happiness, our divine love is what Louisa brings. And again, again, you can have your saintly books. I mean, I can't force you to not read them. But once you have Louisa's prayers, and again, the previous prayer books uh, uh, in the Divine Will were not Louisa's prayers, just so that you know. There was a couple of them. But a lot of them were the saintly prayers, the good prayers, the holy prayers, and they wanted to put something together. But when you get this book, it's going to become your life. And I know the people that are reading it right now, and they are ecstatic. And, and that's what, again, Jesus says the survivors, after, when the chastisement happens, the survivors will be living in the divine will. Again, this is not saintly good or holy. What, what our God wants is to begin to live heaven on earth. Therefore, there is no greater honor that Louisa and the souls linked to Louisa can give us triune God than coming into our most holy divine will. And as we triune God see Louisa and the souls linked to Louisa come, we place at Louisa's disposition and the souls linked to Louisa the whole of creation because it is Louisa's and for Louisa that creation was made. And as Louisa goes around in each created thing, Louisa finds our creative power that Investing Louisa communicates our divine love that each soul possesses. Louisa does this. Now, it's very interesting. When God, this is what Jesus tells Louisa. When God created Adam, and on Holy Saturday, we say, Oh, happy fault of Adam. And, and, and Easter Saturday, Oh, happy fault of Adam. God knew what he was going to do. He knew he was going to bring the mother of God to earth and the son of God to earth to redeem mankind. And he also knew of Louisa, the newborn, the firstborn. And, and uh, Jesus says in volume 15, and this was one of the volumes that were hidden until we went to the Vatican and got those writings out, that Louis, Our Lady crushes the head of Lu Lucifer, and Louisa does the final crush of Lucifer. That's what, that's what Jesus says to Louisa. 
Why? Because Louisa is like her mother. She is in the image and likeness of Jesus and Mary. That doesn't mean she's Jesus or Mary, but she's the newborn of the second generation of the children of light. That's what Jesus says. Greater than a second Adam. So what God does in his, in his divine humor is he makes Italy look like a boot and he puts Luisa Corrado at the heel of the boot. I mean, it's just, it's just spectacular. You know, so when finally everybody looks at Corrado, they're going to go, God has a sense of humor. He makes Italy look like a boot and puts Luisa right in the heel. Why? Because in God's image and likeness to do what Jesus and Mary do. That's Louisa. The saints, unfortunately, uh, well, they didn't have they didn't have Louisa. We have Louisa. How spectacular this is. Uh, so therefore, Jesus says, Uh, okay, and Louisa can love us, triumph God, with our creative strength that rises, and Louisa can love us, triumph God, as Louisa wants, and as much as Louisa wants. Why? Because it's God's love in her. So the love of the of God and the love of Louisa kiss each other. That's scripture. Each other, when the one rests in the other, that's the seventh day. God resting in man, which it didn't happen with Adam. God wanted to rest, but Adam fell. So now this is the seventh day. This is why, this is what's spectacular. On the seventh day of the seventh month of the seventh year of the seventh millennium is when the Latin Mass was given back to mankind. July 7th of 2007, the Latin Mass was given back to us. Why? Because it's a whole new beginning. This is this a, a day is like a thousand years, a thousand years is like a day. This is the seventh day. This is since Jesus, I will rise on the third day. This is the third millennium. We have to understand where we're living. We're very close to what God wants to do. And Jesus says, this is the funny part. Everybody's upset with the Pope because he wants the, he said, let's get the New World Order going. going. Oh, the Pope, oh my God. He, well, Jesus says, I'm the one that are bringing the nations together. He says that to Louisa. I'm doing this because I'm going to get ready the, the kingdom. I'm pulling all the nations together. So even though it might be the wrong thing that they're planning, God says, I'm in charge. We have to remember God is in charge. Now, people are complaining, well, since Vatican II, everything's fallen apart. God is in charge. God is sifting. He's even doing that today. What happened to the, 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 the hundreds of people that were praying the daily rosary? Where are they? He's sifting. There are those that are praying. Where, where are the thousands that were wearing the scapular? There are the few that are still wearing the scapular. God is sifting. He only wants the best. And therefore, he's asking us, he's pleading with us, trust him. Fiat. You're in charge, Lord. So, when we're with Louisa, Louisa can love God as she wants. Louisa can, can uh, as much as Louisa wants. The love of God and Louisa, Louisa eat, kiss each other, sacred scripture. They rest in each other the seventh day because they feel the contentment of truly loving each other in a divine manner. Oh, how beautiful is the company of Louisa and the souls linked to Louisa who love us, triune God, divinely. So much is our contentment that our divine love rises and invests other more beautiful divine works, other loving industries of divine works in order to make us Loved divinely. So again, when you're praying the saintly prayers, that's human love, saintly love. And they're beautiful, they're holy, they're saintly. But God wants to wean us from that to begin to pray the prayers of divinely loving God through Louisa. Why? She's the newborn. 
She's the firstborn. She has the true life of Jesus and the true life of Mary. This is what the Vatican is looking at. And they're amazed. Every theologian that's read it is amazed. And every theologian that hasn't read it doesn't want it. Because they say it's impossible. I have a good friend, a Carmelite. He says, I have St. John of the Cross. I have St. Teresa of Avila. I don't need anything else. Okay. <laughs> they don't want Louisa. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. God has given them what they want. With, with us, it's like, I want what God has given to Louisa. I want to link myself to Louisa. I want to echo Louisa's prayers. Not my prayers. I want to echo her prayers. December 29, 1935, the royal palace place of Louisa uh, in the divine, in unity, union of the divine unity. See, this is divine unity. This is, this is, uh, this is the divine inheritance of how Louisa remains enclosed in the divine unity and how Louisa can form the rarest of beauties and the enchantment of God himself. Again, God is enchanted with Louisa. If you look at the saints, and, and a lot of the saints had to go to purgatory, God says, good, you did a good thing, you did good works, you were saintly, you were good, you were holy. And the church even says, we, can, we commend you and make you a saint. But a lot of saints still had to go to purgatory. With Louisa, we're going to find something that is completely unique. And that's why... Jesus says, I have to give this, I only can give this to the souls that want uh, the divine will more than anything. And he says, Luis is the only one that possesses it. I, Luis, am in the arms of the divine fiat that draws me so much that my little nothing feels itself lost in the all of God. And although lost, it feels its life sustained, nourished, and vivified by the all of God. Again, she, this is not a vision. This is not an apparition. This is not a locution. That's what the saints possessed. And I can tell you, I, every place I've gone throughout the world, somebody comes up and hands me a note. Jesus, or, or excuse me, Mary wants you to know this. Thank you very much. An apparition, a locution, a vision. Very nice. That's not what Louisa possessed. God wants us to let go of the apparitions, the visions, and the locutions. That's why he says the only book that will transform a soul is the book of heaven. Now, apparitions, visions, locutions, they're wonderful after the person's dead. Because there's no mistakes. Then you can prove whether this was true or not. But for us, Jesus wants us to possess the gift of gifts, the prodigy of prodigies. So when somebody comes up to me, and, I, and I've done this all, all over the world, you know, they, Father, Our Lady wants you to know this. Thank you very much. Put it in my pocket and I never read it, ever. Why? It, it, it doesn't mean anything to me. If, if Jesus said it to Louisa in the volumes, that's what I want to know. See, Jesus is telling Louisa something that he hasn't told any other person. That's why he says, the only book that will transform a soul is the book of heaven. Now, that's why I can't wait until the Vatican says yes to Louisa. Then everyone in every language is going to have this book. And the whole world is going to be on fire. Again, the spark that's going to set the world on fire. Who was the spark? It was basically uh, John Paul II and Cardinal Ratzinger who said yes to Louisa in 1994. Yes to Louisa in 1996 when the volumes were taken out of the Vatican. That's why Our Lady said in 1997, everything's done. The, 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 the spark, the, the fuse was lit. And, and what has happened? In those days, we had, like I said, in Syracuse, 150 people. It's down to no one at this point. It's down to, I should say, nobodies. Because that's what God is. We're nothing. 
And so therefore, what's going to happen? The explosion, the, the fuse has been lit. Nobody's, nobody's ready for what's coming. It's going to be the divine will on earth as it is in heaven. It's going to be an explosion that's going to blow Lucifer out of here. That's what's coming. Heaven's coming to earth. Uh, again, uh, how great it is. And if, may it never be, I, would, I, Louise, would want to withdraw that which cannot be because I would not find even a hole where to be able to enclose myself because I would, I would find the all. Oh, then uh, I would feel my little nothing without divine life. Again, Louisa is part, I mean, the only way to put it, and it's probably incorrect, but the only way to say it is she was part of the beatific vision. That's why she says, I can't live without Jesus. Because it was, Jesus was her life. That's why she says, I'm living dead without Jesus. There's no life in me when I don't see Jesus, she says. This is not a locution. It's not an apparition. It's not a vision. You know, the people that have those, they can continue to do. She, she can't. She, she, I would feel my little nothing without divine life. So I, Louisa, felt that the divine volition blew on my nothing and made me feel its divine life, its divine love, its divine power. The breath of God, the ruah of God, was breathed on Louisa, Lisa, like, like Adam had that. But while my mind swam in the all of God with this interminable light, my beloved Jesus visiting my little soul in all goodness told me, my little daughter Louisa, of my most holy divine will, how surprising, marvelous, sublime it is to operate in my most holy divine will. As Louisa does her act in the divine will, Louisa's act remains emptied of the human and united itself with the divine, acquires the union of unity of the divine act. It's not a human act. It's not a saintly act. Now, Louisa has her royal place. Louisa's act in the unity of our single divine act. And therefore, if Louisa loves, Louisa loves divinely, in our divine unity. If Louisa adores us, Louisa blesses us if Louisa with its within our divine unity. So again, when we're in front of the Blessed Sacrament, when we link ourselves to Louisa, we adore God. We're, we're adoring God with Louisa in a divine manner. Again, we're worshiping God in a divine manner. We're not doing anything. It's Louisa in us. Why? Calm, divine will, come breathe in my breathing. It's Jesus and Mary through Louisa. Calm, divine will, come beat in my heart beating. It's Jesus and Mary through Louisa. If Louisa understands us trying God, it is within our divine unity. Nothing Louisa sees, nothing Louisa does, nothing Louisa feels is outside of us trying God. Everything is within our divine being. Louisa can say, I do not know anything else, nor do I love anything else, nor do I want anything else, but only the divine will alone. That with its divine unity that holds me enclosed within itself, within God. Now the greatest fortune, the most sublime grace for Louisa, and the glory, divine glory, the greatest honor for us to in God is to possess the human will, Louisa's act, in our divine unity. And do you know why? Because we try and God give divine love when we want to give, make ourselves divinely love when we try and God desire it. it. We can enrich Louisa with divine grace, with divine sanctity, with divine beauty, as to feel ourselves divinely enraptured by the divine goods, the divine beauty that we try and God have had infused in Louisa. In some, we try and God can find something to do with Louisa. To love Louisa, to entrust all the, to the nothing of Louisa, since Louisa has ours. Louisa's one with God. Again, do you see why we need the Vatican to say yes to this? And, and why the priests are saying, get away from this? I mean, this, this, is, this is about sanctity. It's about being sanctified. The priest... And even good holy priests, saintly priests, uh, when they read this, they go, run. As you read the whole thing, and again, I heard about this in 76, 
86, I started reading. 96, we got them out of the Vatican. 2006, they're back in the Vatican and they're studying them. Can you imagine what's going to happen by 2016? I mean, this is just astonishing. And we have now the time to read, to study, and to put this into practice. In sum, we can have something to do with Louisa, to love Louisa, to entrust Louisa the all to nothing since Louisa has ours. And Louisa will feel such divine power, such divine love as to be able to defend the, the all of God. And, and who defended the all of God? St. Michael. In heaven. Who's the one to defend the all of God on earth? It's Louisa, the littlest. And we try and God feel our secure in this nothing of Louisa because we try and God had surrendered our divine weapons to Louisa in order to keep us try and God secure and defended on earth. But this is not everything. All that Louisa can do, the natural actions, the most indifferent acts, the words, the works, the steps, possessing Louisa's act in our divine unity, they become effect of Louisa's act united with our divine act. The symbol of the sun that with the effects of its light forms, the beauty, the flowering, the enchantment of all created, that such that invested by the light of my fiat, everything becomes its effect. Again, this is what Louisa does. One is the act, one is the will, but the effects are innumerable because they can form the rarest beauties and the most seducing enchantments to God who has created Louisa, who possesses Louisa in his unity. My daughter Louisa, our supreme being, possesses one single act such that the whole creation, every creature, are nothing other than the effects of the unity of our act. So the human will, uniting itself, becomes our continuous effect. And this effect, do you know what it means? It means to always give to Louisa and to always receive from Louisa. Again, that's why she's the newborn. Now, I, Louisa, remained amazed and fixed to the divine volition, and I understood so many things about this union of the divine unity. And while it was one, it enclosed the whole of creation, and everything was enclosed in this unity and flowed from its unity, but sustained, uh, unified, bound in this unity of God. And since it is one and all, it sustains and gives life to everything. In the meantime, I looked at the sky and so many lights of varied beauties were seen that it possessed all the varieties of colors with its inamorable way such that they enraptured these lights spread in the azure vaults and while they were still many, they formed one alone. In light, all colors are there. She, she experiences this. They penetrated the heavens, they descended to the depths and they wanted to give the life of light to everything. They never stopped. They ran. They flew. And my sweet Jesus added, my daughter Louisa, these lights are the marvels of the acts done in my divine will. How beautiful they are. They carry the imprint of their creator God. So again, she's experiencing everything in the light. All the colors in the light she's experiencing. So we'll end there. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, we're going to have rosary at uh, 11.15 and Holy Mass at, right after that. Dearest Lord Jesus, I thank you for your lessons of today. Free me from living one single instant outside of your will. Have pity on me and do not permit that I either know or acquire any other life except that of your divine will. Fiat et amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.